Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, committee members, Jonathan Clay here on behalf of Trans Family Services and Trans Youth Liberation. I'm a board member for Trans Youth Liberation. Uh, we are a trans youth uh, support group out, based out of San Diego, having served now and supported families and trans youth, over 3,500 families. Um, with the help of what we help families navigate the journey of having a transgender child, a large part of this is who should know and needs to know this information. As Assemblymember member Ward uh, very eloquently stated, going through this process has been made easier over the years, starting with SB 179 and a number of other pieces of legislation since then. Um, what a lot of families don't know going through this process is that this is all publicly available. And we've seen this with many of our families where kids are inadvertently outed because Kids of this age love to Google search all their friends, and then all of a sudden they start seeing name and gender change uh, court proceedings show up with this person's either dead name or their new name. And so for these reasons, we think this is just a very simple way to try and protect that process, allow the person that has gone through this process to make the decision about whether they want to share this information or not share this information. And I think that's very important for someone that has gone through this to have that ownership of their identity. So. For these reasons, we strongly support this bill and we greatly appreciate working with Assemblymember Ward and here to answer any questions if you have them.